Well, hello there, my music lovers. I'm Josh from the File Heaven, and today we are having a special. I'm trying to do the Qualitone APR204 once again. So, uh, the main reason I'm doing it again is because I've mispronounced his name for the entire video in my past video review. I mean, how stupid can I be? Well, yeah. To not annoy my viewers anymore, I decided to not hold it on my shoulder anymore. So, I'm using my chair to help balance it out. And I will also try to take some B rolls to give you some close shots to it to give you an idea how it looks like. So yeah, the unboxing once again is quite beautiful. It is a huge package. Just, uh, this is the package. This is how it looks like. As you can see, pretty large package. The unboxing this time takes way more than my typical. And uh, you may hear me a bit upset because my microphone is very directional. Like it goes like, Hup. and uh, if I'm not Hup right here, it is going to do some funny stuff with my voice. There's like three boxes, one inside each other. And it comes with a power cable. I love the power cable. Pretty good power cable. It actually comes with a pair of gloves to help you keep scratches of it. And it comes with a full metallic remote. Very heavy remote. Qualiton. So this is the name Qualiton or Qualiton. Qualiton in English? How do you speak? The, how do you pronounce this in English? The company is Hungarian. It is audio Hungary. So I would expect it to have a pronunciation closer to Romanian. So we would call this Qualiton. And in English, I suppose you'd call it Qualiton. 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 This is why it is named Qualiton. No, it is Qualiton. Yes. So okay, the remote has three buttons: <laughs> volume plus, volume minus, and mute. It is the most basic remote I've ever seen in my entire life. A big slab of metal. If someone attacks you, like. It makes more of a self-defense weapon than it makes a remote. It is very good in quality, has a nice strip of leather on the backside. It is actually quite cool and just three buttons, yeah. It is cool to have the option to change the volume from afar, but it could at least have included an on-off switch or something. I would be using the gloves once again, like I did in my previous video, but I fear that it may slip and I may break it if I use the gloves. So no gloves this time. I am taking the gloves off. I'm going to critic this thing as harsh as I can. Okay, so this is a really heavy device. This is not meant to be held in your hands. I wonder if I did the video like this, if I would still annoy anyone, like, would this work for you guys? I mean, I'm reviewing very expensive hi-fi equipment, but I still like to joke around. Audio File Heaven is all about having fun. Don't forget, you are listening music for having fun. You are not listening music to be serious. You are not an audiologist. You are not trying to dissect this music. You are trying to have a good time. So try to have the best time you can with your music. Like I'm doing here, I'm trying to make you laugh, to make you smile. I'm trying my best to make this content enjoyable. Uh, I suppose it works like this. You can see it pretty properly. I will try to do some B-rolls if I manage. We have very bad weather outside. So this is the Qualiton or Audio Hungary APR204. It looks nice. Okay, so what this is, to better understand the situation, this is a pre-amplifier and it has a headphone amplifier output too. As a pre-amplifier, it is one of the best pre-amplifiers you can purchase in the around 2000 euros price range. It is beautiful sounding. As a headphone amplifier, it is not even worth mentioning. It, the headphone amplifier is an afterthought future. It is not the main usage scenario for this. The headphone amplifier has a ton of driving power, but hmm, the sound is not what you would be expecting from such an expensive thing. Now, uh, I don't know if this position does it any favor. To give you a better idea of what, we are de of what we're dealing with, we have an output, which is in either XLR or RCA. We have three line inputs, one phono input, one grounding, one fuse, one power input in the kettle plug format. It is important to note that we have three inputs, but just one output, which is either single-ended or either balanced. So no two at the same time. At the front, we have this beautiful aesthetic. I like the face of the Qualiton, 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 not Coalition, Qualiton of the Qualiton APR204. We have this black strip. We have an on off switch, very retro kind of switch. It doesn't really look like cyberpunk. We have an input selector. I had left it on phono, although I'm not really using vinyl that much. And we have a volume wheel. The volume wheel is fully analog. This is not a digital potentiometer. It has a very clear turn selection. I would use this one for active speakers too, like my uh, Adam Audio, but my Adam Audio is way less expensive than the Qualiton 
APR204 and yeah it doesn't really make that much sense to use it there so there is a headphone output at the front in the 6.3 millimeter single-ended format but i don't recommend it for headphones it is not made for headphones this is a desktop unit this is a beautifully assembled desktop unit now to give you some idea about the company audio hungary used to be a processing plant for very expensive high-end studio equipment this was not made for audio files in the first place this was made for studio so all of the stuff that is made for studio always sounds awesome for example i decided to settle for adam audio d7v which is a not that much of a speaker it is a pretty decent speaker but not that great and i decided to settle for it instead of using even the butcher i have because i prefer the sound of the adam audio t7v the same happens with audio hungary it is not an audiophile company at the core it is a studio company that evolved into the audiophile realm so the sound of the qualiton apr204 is not just audiophile it is not just a blend of musicality it is the perfect blend possible of musicality and detail resolution and clarity having those sweet juicy mid-range notes like guitar solos and such but still having resolution a tone of treble sparkle a very good and weighty bass everything about the sound is just perfect the qualiton apr204 is just perfect in terms of sound it is one of those sounds that you really die for it is it is the type of sound that you go oh i i want to hear that more as i was saying you can use it for two things mainly or three things or four things you, you can use it for many things but most people would, would use it for two things so the first one is for passive speakers and this goes between the dock and the power amplifier. Some people like to go for power amplifiers that do not have a volume wheel, like monoblocks and such. And for those power amplifiers where you don't have a volume wheel, this is perfect, it adds volume, but it also adds a bit of color, it adds a bit of tube. This is a tube preamplifier. And I don't know if I mentioned that, but it has tubes inside. And this changes a lot of things because tubes are some of the most debated things in audio. Some people love tubes. Some people would do anything to have tubes in their setups while other people despise tubes because some people tried bad tubes. This is what I came to as a conclusion. If you ever found anyone who doesn't like tubes, it is because they never tried a good tube in the first place. If they would have tried a good tube, they would love the tube. It is the power of the tube. The big thing about tubes is how they are implemented. It is not just the tube itself. For example, Wu Audio is a company that makes headphone amplifiers. They're pretty much the bottom end of the tube amplifier tech because all of their tube amplifiers sound the same and they all sound very dark very lush with very little treble and this gives the sensation of very low resolution that is not ideal and it is why some people don't like tubes if you are listening to a proper tubed setup you are going to hear a very natural mid-range very sparkly treble with a lot of detail very natural bass well-rounded deep full bass and this is what i'm hearing with the qualiton apr204 i'm hearing a very lush deep powerful bass i'm hearing a beautiful sparkly treble i'm hearing a ton of detail and life in the mid-range it is very vivid sounding very realistic very direct very dynamic very punchy this is how i describe the sound of the qualiton apr204 it is not smooth sounding so after listening to it a lot i would i came to the conclusion that it's not sounding smooth it is not sounding unnatural it is not sounding colored it is sounding very clear and very clean it is a very clean sounding preamplifier it doesn't really color the sound to sound bland or to sound boring or to sound dull it, on the contrary it colors the sound to be full of life full of dynamics full of force full of detail and this is what i love about the sound of the qualiton apr204 if you try to open it up and take a look inside you'll notice some of the highest quality components one of the best design motherboards i've seen in my entire life the, so the circuit board is just beautiful something like the qualiton apr204 can be used with active speakers like my Dama audio 2 but uh, it is a more complicated setup and uh, i noticed less of an improvement than when using it with passive speakers where everything is analogic everything is made to sound my speakers don't have a DAC inside them, so the other module is still okay in that aspect, but they each have their own amplifier and they have their own volume inside their amplifiers. And turning them all the way up causes a bit of a hiss in the background. And this is why the Qualiton APR204 doesn't really do that much for them. 
it doesn't really fix their sound as well as a passive speaker where you have very high quality power amplifiers. The power amplifier inside the Adam Audio is small enough to fit inside the, such a speaker and it is a more limited one. They sound good, I like their sound quite a lot, but uh, yeah, I would not recommend this one for active speakers unless you have very high quality or high-end active speakers. At the end of today's review, if you opened this video, maybe you are looking for a pre-amplifier. And if you are looking for a pre-amplifier and for a high-end one, the Qualiton APR204 does everything it promises to do. It has tube tech, it is clear, it is clean, it is crisp, it is detailed. It has everything it should have for a pre-amplifier at this price range. It costs quite a lot and I do recommend it for very high-end systems. I do not recommend the Qualiton APR204 for entry-level systems. On entry-level systems, you probably won't need a pre-amplifier. You are better off with just using the dedicated or integrated amp. You are not at the best level of using cheap pre-amplifiers. So if you go for a pre-amplifier, go for a good one. Go for something like this one. I hope this video has been enjoyable to watch. I hope you'll consider subscribing to Audiophile Heaven. I also hope you'll leave a like on this video. Donate if you have a dime to spare. I really thank you for watching. I hope you have the loveliest of weeks in there and I hope we'll see each other really, really soon. Bye-bye.